It's in, it's in God font. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so upset. If you say so. This intro gets me so hyped up. I'm Open still trying to figure eyes. out what's going on. Open your eyes and you'll see. You told, you told me to do that already. I never <laughs> open them both Open times. your eyes. Open your eyes, Nate. <laughs> I'm sorry, they were closed this entire time. Wake up, Link. Oh, it's Link. They even got my name. <laughs> I just how did how do you misread that? Nate Lake Wake up, um Mr. Link. <laughs> I've been called John before. Really? Yes, I've been called John before. What was that pool we were in? Just the goo pool? The resurrecting goo pool. Yeah, he was creating a lab. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, we very much welcome. I don't know. I was looking for a word and I lost it. But welcome to the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, everybody. Oh yes, it's happening, and it's doing so very slowly. We are the very first forty-five thousand person to play this. <laughs> yeah, we, we're very proud of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so Nate will be playing. You have never played this before, correct? No, but I haven't even played a Legend of Zelda game before. Oh, really? I have, yeah, I have no idea oh, what's going on. Oh my gosh. On. This is going to be amazing. I'll examine this. Yes. So I have played this. I have gotten two of the Divine Beasts. Got two of those. People know what that means. I don't know what that means. Yes, you will. Well, it's an iPhone. You might not have this That is a Sheikah snake. <laughs> Take it. The iPhone 9. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Mmm. <laughs> I imagine like being super drowsy at this point. Like, All right. you know how you, you, when you sleep longer, you get like you're more drowsy when you wake up. Yeah. Like he's been asleep for like a long time. I assume almost a long time. A long time. <laughs> a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. Mmm. Sounds like a Cadbury cream egg. Mmm. Delicious right. creamy Inventory. center. I've never used a scooter before. Oh yeah. All right, I have this. So thing. that is your inventory. Yes. And after that, that one. That's a very fancy way of opening. Mm -hmm. I wish I could open the door to my room like this. <laughs> With your iPhone nine. Ooh, chess. Well-worn trousers. Oh, at least I'm wearing something yeah. now. <laughs> that seems a little strange. Like, who's been wearing these? Who worn these? I'll, um, select these. I'll All right. Them. <laughs> Qu yeah, equip my pants. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Pants equipped. That's what I do every morning when I'm getting dressed. I equip my shirt. I equip my pants. I'm yep. ready. An old shirt. I'll take it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm doing everything so slowly. I oh, don't no. know how to do it. You're doing fine. Yeah. All right, great. I have this now. <laughs> yeah. Going on an adventure. <laughs> maybe <there's laughs> Take your barrel with you. <laughs> All right, maybe there's there has to be some purpose for this. Nope. <laughs> Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. Ooh, it's uh, Apple Pay. That will show you the way. <laughs> yes, there there's a lot of modern parallels to this. Yes. It's just a, it's an expose on how our society has become more and more dependent upon technology. <laughs> yep. Well, access denied. Uh, <laughs> oh. Your warranty has expired. Uh, <laughs> and so, here's a, so a little context on Zelda. It is an adventure game where you play as a Link, the character. You explore Link. the land of Hyrule. You are the light. You explore dungeons. You are the light. Our light. And that must you shine upon save Hyrule, Hyrule once again. from the evil Ganon and rescue Princess Zelda. Now go. All right, then. Who so is the game's name? It's, it's like an it's like Mario, but with different characters. Mmm. You could say that, and but it would offend ninety percent of our audience. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should. <laughs> All right. So things that are different about this game. This game is the first completely open world Zelda game. 
it is, you can literally, as soon as you get out of the tutorial area, which will probably take us, honestly, if we just decide to do the tutorial area, that's probably a series in itself. Uh, I can't jump very high in this game. <laughs> yes, okay, so, in the previous Zelda games, you could not jump at all. This is, like, um, an amazing, incredible thing, because in previous Zelda games, you would run to an edge and it would jump for you, but I'll shut up and it's more because it is beautiful. So, Especially with, like that volcano in the back. That's Death Mountain. Oh, so yeah, it's beautiful. In this game, once you get off the Great Plateau, which is where we are now, it's really high up, and you can't get off it without a glider that you have to get from a guy, so you have to do some stuff up here before you can leave. But once you leave here, you can go anywhere. What, whatever you can see here, you can go there. Oh, that's... It's... I'm gonna go to that cloud right there. <laughs> the cloud right there. Actually, there is a sky place, but I will not spoil anything more than that, because there's a sky place. Well, yeah, but you just did. Yes, I know. All right. I'm Sorry. Gonna, am I supposed to go kill that fat guy? Yes. Oh, yeah, there's a get, stick. Oh, should I go get the stick? Yes. I'll go get the stick. Fetch. Tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Surprisingly well balanced. Doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Oh, yes. No, no, it can't. We'll be in many pinches. It's attack with equipped weapon. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, so I can't jump anymore? Um, you can jump. You can jump at any time. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I, I was thinking of the wrong one. Oh, yeah. So, you can pick up pretty much anything. So, if you see any mushrooms, apples, etc. Just so you're aware. Look, a squirrel. I'm going to go get the yes. squirrel. Oh, thanks. Oh, look. It's, it's, a, a, quest it's a questionable mushroom. <laughs> Let's eat it. See what happens. Alright, common mushroom found in your tree. Wow, it's nice that they have an entire database every time you approach yeah. something. <laughs> I wish I could do this in real life. Just... I'm gonna approach a rock and I'm gonna find the entire history of the wall. Yep. rock. Just an entire Wikipedia <laughs> page about it. Yes. And it just, like, the genus, the species, etc. Yeah. Genus and species. A rock is not a living thing. I'm just crazy. Oh. So you can also climb anything. Well, I say anything, but there are very few things you can't climb. Um, mostly anything. So yeah. <laughs> this is pretty much the game. That's the old guy's actually under the ledge behind you. You're on top of his little cave right now. Oh. You know, I'm gonna go make a mat. <laughs> You're just gonna hop on it? You have to just... Maybe I'll find a way in like this. <laughs> just stomp on it until the roof goes in. Claves in. Claves in. Yeah, I'll Ooh, make Who are you? <laughs> Whoa! -ho! Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Uh, who are you? Hmm. I'll spare me. you my life story. Well, I'm glad you spared me. <laughs> I, I, five bucks, he's about to tell you his life story. Uh, <laughs> this is an old fool, fool who's lived here alone for quite some time. Yeah, I thought you'd tell me you'd spare me your life story. <laughs> what brings a bright-eyed young man to a place like this? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, cheers. Mm. Answering a question with a question. That is fair enough. <laughs> As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. But you know what they say. Don't trust everything you read on the internet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I just got a new iPhone, so... <laughs> it, it maybe is... That temple there. Long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Now it's the site of many raves. Uh, <laughs> Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has been sat abandoned you've in a state of decay. You've lived longer than that. I'm glad you did not tell me your life story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A hundred years and a fortnight ago, uh, <laughs> yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Right. Ooh, it's an axe. An axe. Mm -hmm. that, that's much better, actually, right? I'm glad that you got yeah. an axe right there. Losing that stump to your left right there. This stump. Yep. Nice. A slow, inefficient weapon. Thank you for the slow, inefficient <laughs> weapon game. This, this weapon is slow and inefficient, but could still be useful. <laughs> Alright. Yep. So you can hold right on the D-pad to select a quick select weapon. Alright. Yep. Alright, I'll select this weapon because it's probably more... I feel like... I, I'm smaller than this weapon. Yeah. <laughs> that happens a lot. So what So what are you thinking so far? This is interesting. Yeah? And I'm pretty
pretty sure if I had completed this game already, I would be having a blast just climbing things. <laughs> yeah. He's finding a lot of handholds for something completely smooth. Yeah. He has magic hands. Magic hands. Link. Link. <laughs> oh, sorry, I went through Head a tunnel the there. Point marked on the map <laughs> in your sheikah slate. Oh. She still got my name wrong. <laughs> Check this. Uh, Link? I, I can't really read cursive. Uh. <laughs> Check your Sheikah state. Is that it? Is that the right one? Yeah, oh. Follow, Follow the Sheikah state. Current location, and is this the place? Follow yep. the Sheikah? Alright, what's this thing? I think Shrine. that's where you started. Alright. Yeah. Well, you open your adventure log. Sure. I don't know. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that? Yes. From out of nowhere, you hear a woman's voice speak to you. I guess I'll do. I guess I'll follow whatever he, he says. <laughs> Alright. Just blindly follow it. Alright, where the heck is it? I think it is behind you. I think it might actually be the temple that you saw. Oh, there's enemies. Enemies? Yep, they were behind you. I'm really defensive. <laughs> yep. Alright, so what you should know about this game is. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> this game is actually um, incredibly difficult. Basing that off of the opinion of many other people. So, you will die quickly. But if you know how to put up a fight, put up a fight. Because the rewards well, will be good. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's more general advice for the game. But... Oh. There's a giant snake. Oh, a torch. <laughs> so it hasn't told you this yet, but you can also hold a light of these special moves. Um, and what it is depends on the type of weapon you have, but um, the axe is kind of like, let it go. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Wait, wait, what are those things? That, Come I back. believe, is its tooth and its horn, and they're gone. <laughs> Yep. Great. Hey, look, it's a pot lid. It says the torch. This torch yeah. will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Nice. Is that like a weapon or something? I think it can be used as one, but it can also um, just carry flame. Okay. This is okay. So that has a three on it. This is a two on it. This yep. is probably better. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, it's a pot lid. <laughs> Great. Mm. Yeah. You think it's raising your shield? So this is probably going to be a slower kind of uh, learning all the things episode. We're just going to relax and have a good time now. All right, I guess I'll just do this with that button. <laughs> just do that? Yep. Which button is that? This is oh, the right trigger? Button. Ooh, that's going to be fun in a minute. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I guess I'll make it. I'll make my way there. Yep. Oh. So that was actually your stealth crouch, which I think it just told you actually. Oh, oh and that's your weapon throwing thing. Yes, and I lost my weapon. Yep. Yeah. All right. The Temple of Time. All right. An iconic Zelda location. Okay, now. Oh. What, why did I do that? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm still. I forgot how to sprint. That's really all. Oh, uh, ah, there we go. Yep. Okay. So everything that you do that um, is exertious, that's not a word, upon your body, uh, use it the same stamina gauge. So sprinting, climbing, doing whatever. And later on in the game, you have the ability to expand it and become more stamina. Great. I mean, I mean, I just woke up this morning, so yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm mm -hmm. obviously so, not going to do very much. So, of like the eight people in my family that have played this so far, you are the first, except for me, I believe, to discover that ladder so quickly. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I thought this was like where I was supposed to go. Oh, no, it is. Well, I mean, you can go wherever you want, but um, the um, this beginning Great Plateau kind of handhold you a little bit, and just um, you get gain the main abilities of the game that you'll have, and uh, it teaches you how to play, and then you are released into the open world. So this is your right character. Bows. Time for armed conflict. Yes. Oh, good. Fourteen. Conflict with beings with arms. <laughs> well, oops. <laughs> Draw bow, release. All right, so that's that thing. Right. Yep. All right, so do I get, like, an unlimited amount of arrows, then? You actually do not. So what? Do, how do I stop this? Um, you can let it go or hit B. That would be. Yep. There. I'm good now, I guess. Yep. All right, so... 
so I'm pretty sure you're actually supposed to be going a little behind the Temple of Time. Alright, so behind as in this in way? Front. Yeah, behind you right now. Alright. So, oh no, I guess I'll be oh, up here. <laughs> oh jeez. Do I get, do I just heal over time or over? Um, you have to use healing items, which are actually quite common. But, um... Go away. Um... Uh oh, friend, drop. There it is. Oh, steal his weapon and he can't use it anymore. Alright. Take it. Oh. Well, just beat him button. up. <laughs> I'll take this. The ragdoll physics oh, this in this is... game are quite fantastic. Uh, Alright, then. Yep. <laughs> That's not the right button. <laughs> this is the... Welcome. The Nintendo Switch, the most confusing controller <laughs> in the entire world. All right, uh, yeah, select. And so you I'll, actually uh, might want to check um, in your inventory to see if you did pick up anything healing while you were out and about. I oh. keep on pressing that button. Yep, it's right below the plus button. So um, if you go to the right with the right stick, there's different menus: bows and arrows, shields, clothing, um, and then materials. Oh, you get the Hylian shroom. You can eat that. Eat. Yep. All right. Cool. I still feel kind of. <laughs> you're, you're still, you know, bleeding from many orifices, but you should be all right. So to your left, actually, I'm going to cheat with you, is uh, there's a chest right there. All right, then. That's useful to know, I guess. Yeah, but I'm it pretty is. sure it's actually just a worse bow than the one you found on the roof. Oh. So. I thought that was yeah. useful, but... Yep. Yeah. So um, changing bows works with the same button as changing weapons. You just have to be holding right trigger when you do it. All right. Yeah. So I don't actually know where you're supposed to be going right now. So you. All right. <laughs> um. I like this game. Yeah. This is good. This is a good game. Ooh, that is a guardian. You see. That's pronounced awesome guardian. Garden. <laughs> <laughs> um. Excuse me. I have been playing Zelda for a. Uh, uh, how long has it been out? Uh, 28 years. No, 1999, no. I found a screw. However many years that joke got ruined. Um, and it's pronounced Gurdon. Alright. Gurdon. Gurdon. I'll be calling those Gurdons. <laughs> oh, look, a red thing. Yes. I have a lot of things I'm carrying on my back, and I still, I still managed to. Now, Nate, you have what is known as a choice. Investigate the red thing. I don't investigate the red thing. It's up to you. This decision could affect your entire life. Alright, I forget how to contemplate it carefully. Uh, Y is the button for weapon. And that is the button for arrow. I don't oh. have any. Oh. You must obtain arrows. You, you must still scavenge have to survive. Alright, how do I? Okay, no. So you could actually throw that club at him if you wanted to. Oh no! <laughs> nice! <laughs> nice! Well, that's, what, that's how you spam. Yeah. All right, I get new oh, pants. Nice. <laughs> who just who who put these pants in these chests? <laughs> just, somebody just went around Hyrule putting <coughs> pants in chests. <coughs> but like someday this will really help the legendary hero. Yeah. My pants hiding efforts will not be in vain. <laughs> yeah. If this is how you could shop in real life, they just. Oh, I know where you're supposed to go. I would go shopping more often if this is how I do it. <laughs> open chest in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep, so you can get some of his stuff now, actually, from the devil. Alright. Oh, I get to throw it. Yep. Um, so you can take this. this. Goku Fang. Great. Is that a weapon or something? <laughs> you could you could stab their eyes out with them. <laughs> yep. Is that biting? If you use a tooth as a weapon? <laughs> yep. Just sort of put it in my mouth. Just get each individual teeth. <laughs> So you actually need to go to the right, you need to be your right. That is left. Yep. So you need to head to the rock to your left. You see that big rock formation? I'm mixing up right here. Yeah, right. this big rock. The left. So you see that kind of pile of dirt right there? Yep. Yep, that one. Not that one, but the one that's a little further off. That one. Yep. Why am I doing that? Oh, so actually those guys on that hill, um, I know I remember they have bows, so if you kill them you might get some arrows. Oh, okay, um, should I just, uh, that's what I meant to do. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do. So the thing is, they are facing, oh look, there's arrows in the grass right there. See the, sh the sparkles to your right? My right, I keep um, forgetting. It was in the field of grass in front of them. 
right. You see the sparkles? Yep. I'm pretty sure those are arrows. Yep. All right, there's one. Yep. And two. All right, so the only um, thing you need to know about marksmanship in this game, if they haven't noticed you, okay, is... Oh, they haven't noticed you. Um, is headshots are the only thing that does any more damage than the other shot. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, hit you. Oh, it only did a quarter of a heart. That's good. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Get more arrows. Did the other one drop arrows as well? Oh, okay. I did. Nice. Alright. Alright. So, it's to your left now. That is right. Yes. <laughs> I can... I, I was never taught directions. I, it takes me a second to remember. Yeah. So right in there, actually, in that little opening. Yep. So this is really cool. Place the seeker. Where, where is it displaying this text for him? Yeah, it's just kind of, just kind of a voice in his head. See, he has to investigate it and decide to do that on his own. We we get the useless instructions. <laughs> This is a new feature with the iPhone 9. <laughs> <laughs> Great, we just get these things all over the place. Yep. Well, that's nice. Do, did I lose my iPhone? You will get it back. Oh, this is cool. As you visit these towers, um, as you'll see, they'll dispel uh, regional data to your map. Awesome. And then you will be able to tell where you are. Yes. These are magical data droplets. They're how we transfer computer data in the future. <laughs> This is incredibly inconvenient technology. <laughs> it just seems kind of convoluted, honestly. <laughs> Regional map. Let's go back to USB. <laughs> Water is just not. It's, it, they don't make good wires. <laughs> it is a good conductor, though. Yes, it is a good conductor. Remember the Alamo. <laughs> Try to remember. To remember. That might. Is that me? You have been asleep. It's, it's for the, the Hangover past 3. Years. That's what this is. <laughs> oh. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. But you were in the magic goop. The magic goop was magic. So <laughs> Star, I don't know. Yeah. Before it's too late. And by you must hurry, she means take as much time as you need. All right, I'll be doing that. Literally nothing will change until you're ready to I face mean, it. I mean, I've been asleep for the past hundred years, so it can't, it can't be that bad. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's not the way down. Yeah. All right, actually, how far are we? We are, ooh, 27 minutes. Yep. So I think this would be a good place to start the first episode. So this has been fun, a fun introduction to the Breath of the Wild. Have you been enjoying it so far? Yep. Any um, inspiring closing statements for our five viewers? Don't fall too far or you'll start glowing red. And with that, we bid you adios.
All right, that worked.